I headbutted a girl. Yeah, just douche. Nutted the bitch. Basically, shit. I was walking home from the gym, uh, and it's a straight road with a quite sharp corner. Now, if any of you have uh, looked at a corner in the way that I have, there's three different ways for you to go around a corner. I'm going to quickly educate you as to the three different ways you can turn a corner. Number one, it's the safe way of turning a corner. If you've got enough room, about two meters on the corner, you can take a wide approach, come round, so you've got enough time to see who's coming the other way. Maybe there's a bicycle, you know, maybe there's traffic, who knows? You've got enough space either side of you to be able to move to accommodate for someone else that could potentially be coming around the corner. That's the safe way of doing things. Number two, is the, I'm in a rush, but I also don't want to die. That's a little bit closer to the actual corner itself. We'll say this, this is the corner. That's a little bit closer to the actual corner. Let's give a top down view. A little bit closer to the actual corner itself. That's the, I've got enough room, but if someone's cutting on the inside of me, it may end up squashed into the wall. Number three, YOLO corner. That's just the, I am going to go round this corner. This corner is my bitch. I am going around this corner. I've left the gym. I'm walking up the street. Please don't judge me, but while I was walking around the corner, I was rolling a cigarette. So I was looking down and I was doing my thing. La da 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 da. And suddenly there's a girl on the floor in front of me because she was walking around the other way looking at her phone. And we both took the uh, YOLO corner. We both top down view again. We both, you know, slid around the corner. And uh, we're both looking down, and basically, just right there, right on the kisser, she went flying. It was only then when I kind of picked her up off the floor, did I realise she was probably about 14 years old. I had just headbutted a 14 year old girl in public, I didn't really know what to do in the situation. And she was just laying on the floor, and she was like, uh huh. I had to be very careful about how I approached this situation. My first thought is, kneel down next to her, make sure she is okay. I might have just given this girl a concussion. There's a woman in a car looking at me as if I have just shot a puppy. I didn't do this on purpose. I don't just walk down the street and headbutt people, like left, right and centre, thinking you're on my pavement. Douche, get off. Sort of said to her, you okay? And she went, probably never gonna walk around a corner looking at my phone again. Big old lump on my head for about a week. Jesus Christ. Don't know if you've ever headbutted someone, like flat head to flat head. Your head rattles. I had a headache for like four hours and this lump just would not go away. I had ice on it, I had peas on it, I had spinach on it, I had everything on it. I haven't seen the girl since. All I know is I had butted a 14 year old girl. That was a long day. Hit the buttons.